Are you ready for what's inside of here? Are you ready for this big change? No, you're not. Last time you guys saw this vehicle, it was still wrapped, had all the stripes on it, had the emblem on it so you knew it was a Winnebago. We've come back, we've taken all that off, we've stripped all the sealant, we've taken off all the handles, and now it's ready for a wrap. Let's go take a peek. Have the mirror removed, have all the sealant removed. We took off the awning, gave it a quick scuff because there was definitely some imperfections in the surface right there. We've removed all the door handles, making it easy for the wrap installer to go all the way inside. And that's also why we've taken all the sealant off so this wrap can go in and we can seal over when it's all done, making sure that wrap lasts for a long time. Man, when we first started on this, used to have a water heater right here, but we took it out and we made the hole bigger and we put in a TV. Another drastic change to this build, there used to be water tanks inside of here. Now you have pass-through storage. Over here, you can tell we have the rear brake lights removed. We've taken off all the decals. We've removed the rear ladder. Storage used to stop right around here. We came back in when we extended that floor. We wanted to finish it off and give you all this extra storage. Over here on the driver's side, we've removed all the decals, scraped all the sealant, giving us that perfect surface. Why would we take out water heaters, take out all the tanks, take off all the awnings, take off everything that makes this into an RV? I'll show you why. Oh my God! to take out the stove you had to take out the bathroom you had to take out the shower because if you have all that you can't have this we have a booth that spans from the entry door all the way back to the wheelchair lift we've tucked in all the wires relocated all of the switches right here by the entry door when they used to be over here making it look like it was designed to be that way. We've built booths accented by individual tables that can come in and out as needed with just enough space to walk through, holes in the floor so that way if you take them out, you can walk around. We've relocated the heater vents underneath this booth. We've reinstalled the wheelchair lift, come back, built this custom enclosure, so that way we could use the storage that was underneath in the back. Gave them storage over here on this side, and we've installed a 65 inch TV, bam! We definitely didn't have room for that in the beginning. Over here was where the shower was, that's gone. Got another booth with two more tables, designed with just enough room to still get inside of there. Trimmed off the floor, came over here, removed the refrigerator, made nice permanent shelves with a lip, making sure whatever you put in there won't come out. There used to be a sofa over here, and it just didn't fit with the flow. We were only gonna do a couple booths, but we ended up adding another one, built it out, made it match everything else, finished it off right at the edge of the slide out, giving us ample amount of room. When we took all that out, we damaged the ceiling, so we had to come back and replace this panel, that panel, and that panel over there. Another thing we always take pride here at Leisure Coachworks is going the extra step, making the step cover even have the same flooring as the rest of the coach, so everything looks like it was designed to be that way. We relocated the load center over here, added another outlet, and another duct over there for the heater. Now that we've talked about all the why, let's talk about how. How Leisure Coachworks takes pride in all the builds that we do. If it's something we've never done before, if it's some late night thought that you had that you really want to make happen, come down to Fontana, let Leisure Coachworks show you how we make everything we do look like it was designed to be that way, tying in with all the colors and all the features, making it look like it was not an afterthought and you won't be disappointed. If you want to see how this started, make sure you click on the videos from before, like, follow, and subscribe to see future projects, or if you're in Fontana, California, stop on by.
wait a minute, I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> is why. Keep your six feet from my. <laughs> we definitely left them. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Stephanie and Lefany. Giving you apple. Giving you apples and bananas. <laughs> this.